almost everything on our cell phones today, and for some students, this overuse can cause serious health problems. Maddie Gardner joins us live from the pit. Maddie, are you texting right now? Me? No, no, but take a look around campus and you'll see students walking, looking down, glued to their cell phones. What they probably don't know is this can have a lasting effect on their neck and spine. Watch this. Cameron Church is readjusting his neck just as his chiropractor would. He learned to do it himself after experiencing neck pain for more than a year. There'll be some days where you just can't do anything to fix it and it's just going to be a pain in the pain in the neck. His doctor told him he had a severe case of text neck. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's a condition caused by looking down at his phone too much. There would be a natural backward curve to the neck like that. Dr. Ashley Owen sees at least one case of text neck every week. With text neck, all of that kind of straightens out or in some cases actually turns the other way. Most people have a smartphone, something that they're, they're doing, they're you know, keeping their calendar on, they're searching the internet on, uh, texting. Uh, and so you see it a little bit more prevalently, but also now we're seeing it in younger patients. Our heads weigh about 10 pounds when we're standing with our ears over our shoulders. But when we're looking down at our phones, roughly a 60 degree angle, our necks have to support this 60 pounds of pressure. Even experts like Dr. Owens get text neck. Just take a look at his x-rays. My neck kind of flattens out right in the center portion here, right in the middle part of the neck. Common, but easily prevented. If you have neck pain, try holding your phone up instead of looking down. When studying or looking at a computer, take a short break every hour to readjust your posture. You can also roll your neck and shoulders or try this stretch. Where you just kind of sit back and hold it. You put your hands behind your head, but it just kind of looks like you have a whole bunch of chins. While it may look a little silly, it could do your neck a lot of good. That really makes me want to readjust. I know I'm guilty of bad texting posture. I find myself hunched down looking over at my phone all the time. But Maddie, we've been hunched over books for years. Why is this just now becoming a problem? You know, I asked Dr. Owens about that, and he said this condition, the flattening of the neck, it's not new. But with more people texting, he's seeing more cases of text neck, and it's showing up in his younger patients. Thanks, Maddie. I'll definitely try to pay a bit more attention to my posture, but limiting my texting, probably not going to happen.